Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. When you're delivering a presentation to an audience, you want to make this as easy as possible for yourself. Because as presenters, there's always a lot going on. We're normally standing at the front of an event or maybe in a meeting. We have our laptop in front of us and we have our slides on our laptop and possibly showing on a bigger screen behind us. Not only do we have to engage with our audience, we have to make sure that we're checking our notes and we're delivering those key messages and ensure that we're advancing our slides at the correct point. Now, one way that you can make this a lot easier on yourself is to use PresenterView, which is an invaluable tool for speakers everywhere. Now, what PresenterView allows you to do is basically see everything that you need to see right there in front of you whilst only displaying the presentation to your audience. So let's have a quick look at it. Now, if as a presenter, I just quickly load up my presentation, I'm going to say from current slide. Notice that all I'm going to see on my laptop is my slideshow. I can't see any notes that I might have attached to this slide. And I also can't see the next slide that's coming up to give me some sense as to where I am in my presentation. So in a sense, when you just run a presentation in this view, in just the normal view, you don't really have a great deal of visibility. Now, this is where presenter view can really help us out. So whilst we're in our slideshow, and again, I'm just on my first slide, if I right click my mouse, notice that in the contextual menu, I have an option here to show presenter view. Now, if we jump into here, take a look at what happens. Now, the great thing about presenter view is that it just gives you more information. So not only can I see the current slide that the audience is looking at in the middle there, I can also see the next slide that's coming up. And that can be really helpful because it really kind of gives me an idea as to whereabouts I am in my presentation and I can prepare myself for what I want to say next. Another great thing is that I can see any notes that I have attached to this particular slide. So instead of prior to the presentation going away and printing off all of my notes onto a printer and carrying them to the meeting, I can simply type them underneath the slides as we've seen in previous lessons and they're right there in front of me all of the time. I don't have to worry about losing my notes somewhere between my office and the meeting. Another thing that's really helpful about presenter view is if you notice just above the slide, we have a timer running and this will start running as soon as you load up presenter view. So you know that if you have just 20 minutes to present these slides, you can see where you're up to and how much time you have left and you can maybe slow down or quicken the pace accordingly. Now notice underneath the main slide, we have a number of icons and these are what we call our in presentation options, which can really help you interact with your slides in a nice way. And we're going to look at all of those options in the next lesson. For now, we just want to focus on getting used to using or working within presenter view. Now to move to the next slide, it's reasonably obvious if we take a look towards the bottom, it's currently says slide four of 25. So we can use our arrows to move in between our slides in this way. So I can click and it's going to move me on to the next slide. And of course, I can always use the arrow keys on my keyboard or I can click my mouse. Now running across the top of presenter view, we have three other options. The first one here is show taskbar. Now notice as soon as I click that, the taskbar appears at the bottom of the screen. So if I need to switch to a different application mid presentation, having my taskbar makes it a lot easier because by default, when you are running a slideshow, whether that be normally or in presenter view, everything else on your screen is, is going to be hidden, including your taskbar. So that's just a nice little shortcut way to bring that back up. Your display settings, well, this is really related to if you have two monitors. If you do, you can choose to swap between presenter view and slideshow view, or you can duplicate the slideshow. And then the final option that we have is simply to end the slideshow. So I could click this button, 
or I could click the cross all the way over in the right hand corner, or I can press the escape key on my keyboard, which is going to take me out of presenter view and load me back into my normal view. So that's how presenter view works and the types of things that you can see in there. As I said, there are lots of in-presentation options available in presenter view, and we're going to look at those in the next lesson. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.